Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel where we share tips and tricks to help you save money and live a frugal lifestyle. Today we're going to dive into the past and learn some frugal cooking tips from the Great Depression. During the Great Depression, people had to find creative ways to stretch their food budget and make do with what they had. They learned to cook with inexpensive ingredients and avoid waste. These lessons are still relevant today and can help us save money while still enjoying delicious meals. So let's take a trip down memory lane and discover some frugal cooking tips from the Great Depression era. We'll cover everything from how to make the most out of leftovers to how to stretch meat and use substitutions for expensive ingredients. So grab a pen and paper and let's get started. Number one, grow your own. Growing your own food was basically the only way anyone could afford to eat during the Depression. My grandpa's family had 80 acres, so they were able to grow enough food to feed 11 people for a year. I think everyone should grow at least something since it connects you to the food that you eat and the people who came before us. Number two, eat from the wild. My grandpa recalls eating a lot of greens, herbs, fruit, and meat from the wild. I'm sure a significant part of his diet came from foraging, and I think it's a great skill to have today. He said that they ate a lot of rabbit and squirrel, and when I asked him about deer, he said people didn't hunt it much then. I'm sure they had more to choose from in the way of wild food during the Depression, but you can still find edible wild food if you know where to look and hunting is still a great way to get fresh meat. Number three, barter with neighbors. My grandpa didn't mention bartering during the Depression, but I imagine it went on a lot back then. If one family kept chickens and one had a dairy cow, then it would only make sense to trade. I think bartering is a skill that should be revived today. Number four, use what is available to you. When talking about the Depression, the main theme was to make the most of what you had. My grandpa said they didn't eat beef because they didn't have enough pasture to keep cows, but they ate a lot of pork and chicken because they raised them themselves. While I'm glad that we have options in our diet today, I sometimes wish that things were more limited because it would help me to simplify, be creative, and appreciate food more. Number five, let nothing go to waste. When times are hard, you make the most with what you have, which means nothing is wasted. Wastefulness was probably somewhat of a dirty word during the Depression because resources were so scarce. Everything was used and reused and all scraps were fed to the animals or composed for the garden. Considering the average American wastes a quarter of their food per year, we could learn a lot from the resourcefulness previous generations. Number six, preserve everything. When you can't go to the store, you learn to make use of anything you can get. During the Depression, women used to can anything and everything, including fruit, vegetables, meat, and lard. I think it would serve us well to think in this manner today and try to make the most of what comes our way by preserving it. Plus, if you can get food for a good deal or even free, it's a great money saver. Number seven, eat lots of corn and potatoes. My grandpa said they ate fried potatoes three times a day all year long because they were filling and cheap. They also grew their own corn and ground 100 albs of it per week to make cornmeal. These cheap, filling staples are what sustained them and kept them going through hard times. These two food items have a bad rap today, but I'm of the opinion that if it comes out of the ground, then it's probably full of nutrients and is way better for us than anything processed. Remember, Living frugally doesn't mean sacrificing flavor or nutrition. By using simple ingredients and avoiding waste, you can create tasty and satisfying meals that won't break the bank. So the next time you're in the kitchen, think back to the lessons of the Great Depression and try out some of these frugal cooking tips. Who knows, you might just discover a new favorite recipe. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more money-saving tips and frugal living hacks. Until next time, happy cooking!